Ryan King Rye Garcia versus Gervonta Tank Davis. This fight has been one of the most anticipated fights for quite some time now. With all the scheduled fights that never happened, many had lost hope of this fight ever happening. But after so long, it has finally been confirmed that these two professional boxers with a joint record of 50 and 0 will be facing off against each other in the boxing ring. The question now is, who's going to bring this home? With each fighter boasting an undefeated record, it might be hard to figure out who will come out victorious. Nonetheless, no one said it was a bad idea to give it a shot. So stick around till the end of this video as we find out who's likely to win this fight. Are you ready for this? Well, let's get straight into it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the lives and careers of both fighters. Ryan King Rye Garcia. At the age of seven, King Rye had already begun boxing. And about a decade later, the young star began his professional career in boxing with the first round TKO win against Edgar Meza in 2016. After breaking the bar with such an amazing first impression, Garcia rose to become one of the world's best active lightweights with an undefeated record. And by 2019, after defeating Romero Duno in a first round knockout, King Rai became the WBC Silver Lightweight Champion. Later in 2021, he went on to defeat the Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell in the seventh round and became the new WBC Interim Lightweight Champion. These, however, are just a few of his many victories. In fact, the champion's last two matches were at the super lightweight with a weight of 140 pounds. With all these impressive feats, we can agree that he has indeed earned the right to challenge his colleague, Gervonta Tank Davis. Gervonta Tank Davis. Tank Davis, on the other hand, is another professional boxer with the WBA lightweight title and a weight limit of 135 pounds. The champion has held on to the title since 2019 and ever since has had to defend it about three different times. Unlike King Rai, the boxer from Baltimore began boxing at the age of five. However, his professional career didn't begin till he was 18 years old in 2013 when he faced Desi Williams. Tank Davis's victories consist of the IBF and WBA titles, which he won in the super featherweight division. By 2019, Tank Davis moved up to the lightweight division, where he faced off against Uriokas Gamboa. And like every one of his other matches, Tank came out victorious with the WBA lightweight title, which he has retained ever since. A couple of years later, Davis moved up again to the super middleweight division and fought the undefeated Mario Barrios. By way of technical knockout, Davis came out victorious in the 11th round, winning the WBA regular super lightweight title. Since the start of 2023, Davis has only had to be in the ring once to defend his lightweight title against Rolando Romero. However, only one of these two fighters came out with an undefeated record, and that was, of course, Tank Davis, after knocking his opponent out in the sixth round. Now to the fight between King Rai and Tank Davis. Thankfully, as it stands, all necessary factors have been taken into consideration. In fact, according to Ryan Garcia's pinned tweet on Twitter, his fight against Gervonta Davis has been scheduled for the 22nd of April, 2023. While both fighters continue to uphold their undefeated records, this fight in April will change things for one of them. At this point, it's simply a question of who? Which of these two champions will have to leave that ring with a tainted record? Now that we've looked into the careers of both fighters, let's try to weigh the factors. This decision will be based on the following categories, fighting pedigree, physique, skill, and improvisation. And for each of these, we'll be awarding 10 points. Naturally, the fighter with the highest number of points will be awarded the winner. Fighting Pedigree. 
While Tank Davis has about 10 years in his professional career, King Rye, on the other hand, has only been professional for only seven years. And with the several fights both fighters have competed in, they have both kept an undefeated record. On the one hand, you have Garcia with a record of 23-0, 19 of those being by knockout. Then on the other hand, we have Davis with a record of 28-0, 26 of them being by way of knockout. Indeed, we can agree that these are both very impressive knockout records. However, we can't look past the fact that Davis obviously has the upper hand in this match. From the fact that he has more experience and a fuller record compared to Garcia, we can already tell who's winning this round. And so, for this round, Davis gets nine points, while Garcia gets seven points. Physique. Both of these contenders are indeed fit to take on each other. And so, in judging their physique, we will do so on the basis of their height, weight, and reach. Davis currently stands at about five feet, five and a half inches tall, with a reach of 67 and a half inches while weighing about 134 pounds. Garcia, on the other hand, stands at five feet, 10 inches with a reach of 70 inches, also weighing about 134 pounds. Clearly, Garcia has the height and reach advantage, which he could use to keep Davis away. And with that, Garcia wins this round with nine points, while Davis has eight points. Skills. Regarding skills, it's no doubt that both fighters are very talented. Garcia, on the one hand, is very fast with his hands and also has great counterpunching abilities. He was trained by Eddie Reynoso, who also trains Canelo Alvarez and Oscar Valdez. But that was until February 2022, as he later announced that he is now going to be training with the Hall of Fame trainer, Joe Goosen. As for Gervonta Davis, like Ryan Garcia, he is a man with a lot of power and dreadful punches, which he never fails to use to batter his opponents. Now you can understand how he won 26 of his fights by way of knockout. This round will have to be a tie because both men have very great skills. Which would you rather be, very fast or very strong? Do let us know in the comments section below. That said, both fighters get eight points. Improvisation. In this category, Garcia already has the upper hand with his experience in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Davis, on the other hand, isn't known to be versatile in any other kind of martial arts. However, those power punches he always throws around wouldn't fail to wear out Garcia. Garcia already boasted about pulling off some left hooks that Davis may not survive, though. So, there's always that. To award points, therefore, Ryan Garcia gets eight points, while Gervonta Davis gets eight and a half points. The verdict. And now for the verdict. But before we get into that, let's first share some of the takes that many professionals have given on this match. First is Henry Garcia, Ryan's father and trainer, who believes his son will emerge victorious. World champion Canelo Alvarez, however, had something very different to say. Seeing that he once shared a trainer with Garcia, Alvarez was more than convinced that Garcia didn't stand a chance against Davis. Alvarez stated that Davis's experience in fighting was a huge advantage that would hand him the victory. But of course, in boxing, you never know. Even when former world champion Mike Tyson was asked about this same fight, all he had to say was he didn't know. Tyson admitted that both men have equal chances of winning the fight, because you honestly never can tell. However, we still have our verdict. Based on our categories, the winner of this match with 33 and a half points is Gervonta Davis, while his opponent, Ryan Garcia, comes in very close with 32 points. This clearly shows just how much will go into this fight. Keep in mind, however, that these are just points based on the several categories we consider. The fight may end up going a lot differently than we expected. We can never know, but as always, May the strongest man win. That said, what do you think? Do you agree with this verdict? 
Or do you believe that King Rye will come out as the new winner against Tank Davis? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and would love more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification so you are the first to know when we drop a new video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.